Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is Moonlight Sculptor. Moonlight Sculptor is a new game coming to iOS and Google Play. It has a fantastic story mode based on a great Korean light novel. You get to control your destiny in this immersive story with great action, tons of dungeons, and great customization. And if you don't like to fight, you can even decorate a home, cook, and do tons of other things. You can only pre-register up until May 24th, so do it now before it's too late. Thank you so much Moonlight Sculptor again, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kyle Flix. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 Brawlhalla secrets you didn't know. Before I get into this video, I just want to mention that I've been doing giveaways on all my videos for esports colors. The winner of the last giveaway is on the screen right now. To enter this giveaway, make sure you comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that like if you loved it, and let's get right into this. I got a list of 10 Brawlhalla secrets you didn't know. We're going to start this first one right in training room. A lot of these secrets I've mentioned on my channel previously, but I haven't done a video talking about them all. This video ranges with like secret tech and whatnot. So it's like a mix of tech and things you didn't know. But the first thing is this tech called burb dashing. I'm going to shout out to burb. He taught me this and he found the tech in the first place. Burb IRL, check him out on YouTube. Basically, if you're on a map with any soft platform, you can do an aerial on the soft platform. All you got to do is do a back dash and then right after you back dash, you kind of go down to drop through the platform and then you do an attack and it puts you back on. So I think I can do it on hammer. You see that right there? I did a little back dash and I didn't even jump. And you can do aerials on the south platform without jumping. So I do the back dash, then I kind of fall through the platform. So it looks like I'm kind of hovering and then I entered the... Uh, ground pound and you can do this with all aerials so you back dash and then you input it if I can hold up fast enough then I can do like a down air by staying on the stage you can also do it with like all attacks yeah did you see I just did it with Sarah right there you can do it with all aerials and you can stay on the stage with all of them so kind of crazy next thing is very similar tech but it's on the main stage if you do a back dash and then a forward dash on the main stage and you do an attack while doing it you can do an aerial version of the attack without going off stage so this is even more tech you've seen lord white wolf do it i just show it to you there i just did a side there but you can also do a ground pound and it does an instant ground pound i don't know if you see that and th that that has hitboxes by the way so like if i turn this on you see the hitboxes so I could probably space it. There we go. A little bit to the right. And you can actually edge guard with it. Like that will hit if somebody is off stage. Okay, next little secret tech. By the way, it's not all tech. I'm just going over tech all at once. There's a thing that's called like a ledge jump. I don't know the exact name for it, but basically if you dash back and then you do a dash jump while you're off stage, it will give you a full jump height. So if I do it like that, you see how high I went? This is a normal dash jump, and that's the dash jump on the ledge. I went as high as the soft platform. Like, that's crazy. But if I do a normal dash jump, you can kind of get there, but you can't get that same sort of height. That was not it. Whoopsie. That was not it. That was not it. There we go. You see, I went a little bit higher than the soft platform. I couldn't, like, ledge cancel. It's not that high, but very close. Oh, also, uh, this is another easier way of doing it. You can do it with soft platforms as well. It's the exact same thing. So you dash back, dash forward, and then jump. You see that? That's a normal dash jump, and that's the one off stage. It's like, uh, that's a full jump height. So it's basically a full jump. But you keep that, ver that horizontal momentum from the dash. Number four. Okay, this one I can't really show you in game. It's kind of difficult to show. But if you don't know this, off the top of the map, you can't die because you need to get hit. Like, you're in the kill zone, but it won't kill you unless you get hit. But here's the secret tech that people don't know. Not every move at the top will kill you. At one point on the ladder, we used Qatar Neutralite. And we did Qatar Neutralite to Qatar Neutralite into seven Qatar Neutralites or whatever. And the last Qatar Neutralite, although it was in the kill zone, it had zero variable force. So any move with zero variable force cannot kill off the top. So that's kind of that secret tech. 
that a lot of people didn't know about. So, for instance, if you don't know what zero variable force is, it, if I set my opponent to 700 damage, and if I do a side air, it is going to kill him. Pretty obvious, right? But, if I do a certain move, moves that have zero variable force, it's going to do the same amount of force no matter what. No matter what health they're at. So if I do like a blast or neutral light, he doesn't get sent any higher than if he was in white health. So that means that I cannot kill somebody off the top of the map with a GC blast or neutral light. GC neutral light, that will not kill. Even if I land the attack up there, it will not kill. Any other attack, like blast or neutral air, would kill. But GC neutral light would not. And it's the same thing with any move with zero variable force. A lot of these are all in training room, so that's very great. But the next thing on our list is this little setting that a lot of people don't know, the power viewer. So this power viewer gives you a lot of information of the current move being thrown out. So it shows you which attack is currently active, how many active frames that attack has, variable force, fixed force, and everything. It doesn't show for the entire move, but it shows for a certain amount of frames. So see, I'm like, and nothing, let's say I do neutral light for instance. Okay, so right now I'm in startup. It doesn't really show that. I guess it kind of shows it here. Some five startup frames right here. There's a little bit before it, but that's where the animation starts. There's five and then, oh, sorry, no, no, no. This is currently active. This is, okay, so the idea, sorry, I'm new to this as well. I don't use this power gear very often, but the power cast timeline shows all the information for things with hitboxes. So this is five, active frames and it has 21 fixed force so that's why the um the opponent doesn't go anywhere and then it get it does the same active frame again and then it converts to a new one that has only three active frame a little bit of base damage and then there's that third one that's about to go to and yeah, then it sends it off. It, it's kind of hard. I definitely play around with it for yourself. You can also select over the hurt boxes and it shows you like the width and height on like certain frames. So you can see like the width and height gets adjusted sometimes depending on the attack. Maybe like the signature might adjust it. Let's we'll see. Does it change at all? Yeah, see the width and height change. Then I have like a little offset. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, the sixth secret, this is again in training room because there's so much stuff in training room that people don't know. There's actually a secret Brawlhalla game mode. And this game mode's kind of weird. It's catch bombs training. And basically you can practice catching bombs. I'm not even kidding. So the bombs get thrown kind of at you. And if you catch them, you get a point. So you can like make this a game with friends who can catch more bombs. I have no idea why Brahalla added this. And like nobody talks about this. But I remember doing it for fun a while back. I guess it's kind of good reaction time and like pressing buttons, but yeah, it's not anything useful. Finally, we're getting out of the training room and I'm gonna show you guys another glitch. This is number seven. It's not like it's secret tech, but kind of Okay. So this is secret that a lot of people don't know. If you use keyboard, I don't know if this works on console. You guys might have to plug in a keyboard in a PS4 and tell me if this works. But on PC, if you got two characters next to each other, you can swap their kind of animation stances. So let's say we want this Val and the Ragnar to swap. You press both buttons at the same time. Did they fix this? No way they fixed this. No. They fixed this? Okay, see it's like trying to switch between the two. When did they fix this? This was such a cool glitch. I miss it so much. Okay, let me know if this works on console. I'm still leaving this in the video. Uh, you used to be able to make the character, like, do another character stance. Okay. Seventh or sixth thing. I've lost count because one of my secrets didn't work and I'm sad. Training. Is not all weapon throws are actually the same. So there's a big misconception, like... The weapon throws look almost identical, but they're all pretty weird, individually speaking. I don't know. They definitely, like... Here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna... Put this Mako on this left. Okay, so if I throw Katars, you see how it goes all the way off the stage? So Katars, they go pretty far. If I throw Axe, it also goes pretty far. 
If I throw Orb, it goes pretty far. It goes off the stage. If I throw Gauntlet, it goes off the stage. Uh, if I throw a Lance, it goes off the stage pretty fast. If I throw a Spear, it goes off the stage pretty fast. If I throw a Cannon, it goes off the stage. If I throw Scythe, it goes off the stage. If I throw Blasters, it goes off the stage. If I throw Katars, it goes off the stage. What am I looking for? I think Hammer. But if I throw Hammer, it doesn't. If I throw Greatsword, it goes off the stage. So a Hammer is for some reason different. And I also know the force of certain weapon throws are different than others. It's really weird, but it's just they're not consistent. Some travel more than others, like maybe bow won't go very far. I've got no idea. Sword. Oh, they both go off the stage. Spear also goes off the stage. I think it might slide more though. Did, did you see how much spear slid compared to like bow? No, those look the same. What about sword? Oh, they kind of look the same. Never mind. But yeah, hammer's bad, I guess. Literally all of them go identical in distance except hammer. Hammer's just bad. Okay. Confirmed. Hammer's worst weapon in Brawl. Don't listen to me. Number nine. This one's really cool, actually. I showed this off in a video where it's like four ways to break Brawl Hall or something. So basically, if you jump off in Training Room, your sidekick is going to bring you back to life. But if they bring you back to life, you can here let me let me do it in the middle of the map so this guy's gonna drag me from the middle of the map okay i am in the middle of the map so now that my sidekick is putting me in the middle of the map i'm going to make it oh you need to do this on the bot settings never mind let me switch to mako sorry about that we're gonna go in the middle of the map okay so the bot brings us up through the map and when i am in the middle of the map here you go position reset on damage reset on doesn't really matter for that but just position reset so now i'm just gonna wait a second and i'm gonna teleport and i was like inside the map for a second you see that i'm like inside the map and you can get inside any map in brawlhalla this way and this works on other maps as well so like if i want to get inside let's say let's say i want to get inside the tree fort <laughs> Yeah, you can basically break for a hollow and just get inside any map you want. It's kind of broken. There's like two stages. It's really weird. But um, yeah, that's a Brawlhalla secret. Our last, the ninth or tenth, one of the secrets I had didn't work. We're just going to say the ninth. Final secret is turbo dashing. So I've mentioned this in a couple of videos go. before. But basically, if you are on a character with a lot of active frames at the end of a move, let's say Yumiko, for instance, you get the hammer and you go down sig. If you spam down sig and dash, you do these things called turbo dashes, where you can dash multiple times in a row. So this is like normal dashing, and then that's turbo dashing. Do you see what I mean? So I definitely recommend trying this for yourself. All you gotta do is use a signature, spam the signature, and dash at the exact same time. And you can also use it to like dash and dance. It's just kind of hard to input. You can like dash and turn around. It's super weird. But yeah, definitely recommend to play with it. If you want to use it in an actual match, bow down light. You can get a double dash right after it. I don't know if you saw that. Did I dash twice? I did dash one. Dash two. You see, I dashed twice. That's turbo dashing on axe down light. Look at that. One. Two. That, that's turbo dashing, literally, and I'm on Axe. And I just did it there. And again. So yeah, a couple moves in the game, it works very well. So I did it on Gauntlet Downlight, that's crazy. But yeah, turbo dashing is a thing in the game. Uh, it's not super useful, but it's definitely kind of cool, not gonna lie. So yeah, turbo dashing is a thing in Brawlhalla, some secret tech you didn't know. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys all in the next video. Love you. Peace.